In the busy work environment, you may feel like you're operating at a major airport. Number five, dock plate has been secured and wheels are chalking. You're clear to go on dock seven. Thank you. Number five, proceeding to dock seven. Number three, you'll be holding until number five is clear. Number three is holding. Number eight, you're running parallel with 10, one aisle north. Okay, thanks, I'll give away to 10. But unlike a pilot, you have no one to direct traffic or monitor every action. The responsibility is yours. Being aware of the changing environment while operating a complex piece of machinery is a challenging task. It requires a well-trained professional who takes responsibility for everyone's safety. In this program, you will learn to identify potential operating concerns in your environment, techniques for proper load handling, safe driving skills, and how to interact safely with coworkers. Safe operation of a forklift begins with the operator. You are in a position of great responsibility. A safe operator respects the potential hazards and understands the operation and limitations of the forklift. The true professional respects the working environment and eliminates risk taking. Unsafe operation of a forklift can cause catastrophic accidents. The most recent annual statistics indicate 34,000 injuries nationally that required emergency room treatment as a result of forklift accidents. Forklift accidents are costly in medical bills, insurance, lost wages, and rehabilitation. Numerous accidents result in property damage, including destroyed product, walls, piping, overhead sprinklers, and racks. You can prevent costly accidents at your facility by incorporating safety in every decision you make as a forklift operator. Be aware of adverse operating conditions in your work environment. Even if you work in the same area with the same truck each day, there may be changes that could affect the safety of yourself and coworkers. Contractors making maintenance changes, wet areas due to equipment leaks, changing surface conditions, or overhead repair work. Familiarize yourself with potential hazards in all areas you operate your lift truck. These could include narrow aisleways, high traffic areas, overhead obstructions, surface conditions, additional equipment operated in the area, and temporary situations. Good housekeeping in a facility is essential for safe operation. It is everyone's responsibility. A clean work environment reduces potential problem areas. As a forklift operator, you also have the responsibility to not block fire exits, electrical panels, emergency stop buttons, or aisleways with materials. By being aware of the environmental conditions, you can greatly reduce the chance of an accident occurring. In addition to the environment you operate in, understand the potential hazards of the loads you handle. These hazards may vary from protruding edges to hazardous chemicals. Know the chemical characteristics of the substances you are moving. Are they stable, reactive, or flammable? If a flammable drum is punctured, immediately turn off the ignition source and contact the proper personnel at your facility. Before lifting a load, Know that it is within the load capacity of your vehicle. Make sure it is properly stacked and secured and that the pallet is in good condition. If you get off the forklift, always lower the forks and set the parking brake. Avoid putting yourself in a position between the forklift and a fixed object. When attempting a lift, the forks should be spread as widely as possible to provide even distribution of weight. Be aware of pinch points when moving the forks. Insert the forks three quarters of the way into the pallet. Too far, and you could damage what's on the other side. Too short, and the load would be unstable. The center of the supporting crossbar should line up with the center of the load with the forks evenly spread. They should be wide enough so the load does not sag on the side. Tilt the forks back. This shifts the load center closer to the vehicle. Forks tilted forward shift the center of gravity closer to the edge of the stability triangle, increasing the chances of tipping. With an unbalanced load, you can maximize stability by having the heaviest side closer to you. Travel with the load six to 10 inches from the ground, just high enough to clear any potential obstacles, yet low enough to keep the truck at its maximum stability. 
Forklifts become extremely top-heavy when the load is carried high. Keeping the load low is especially important when turning corners to prevent the center of gravity from shifting outside the stability triangle. Remember, when the center of gravity shifts outside the stability triangle, the odds of tipping the forklift greatly increase. This is why you should never raise your forks to stack a load until the lift truck is properly positioned. To set a load, line the pallet squarely with its intended location. Stop the lift truck. Raise the pallet to the proper height, about two inches above the surface, and slowly inch forward until it is in place. Allow two to three inches of clearance at the sides and back of each load. Lower the load in place. Level the forks. Sound the horn and slowly back out. Once the forks are clear of any obstruction, stop the lift truck and lower the forks to about six inches off the ground and proceed to your next load. The forks should also be kept low when traveling without a load. This decreases the chances of the forks knocking over materials or damaging property. If a load blocks your vision, travel in reverse. Slow down and always look in the direction of travel. Keep arms, legs, and head inside the confines of the forklift. This includes never reaching through the mast to adjust a load. When negotiating turns, slow down to a safe level and turn in a smooth, sweeping motion at a moderate and even rate. Some areas in which the forklift is operated requires special operating techniques. This includes inclines, loading docks, and railroad tracks. If you're going up or down a ramp, always travel with the load pointing up. Remember to raise the forks enough to prevent scraping an inclined surface. Never attempt to turn on a ramp. When crossing a railroad track, slow down and cross on a diagonal. This minimizes damage to the wheels and prevents the load from shifting. Extreme caution must be used when maneuvering in and out of trailers. Vehicle brakes must be set and both wheels properly chocked. Trailers not coupled to tractors must have fixed jacks as support. As a forklift operator, you have the most to lose if these proper procedures are not followed. You can prevent accidents from occurring by following properly established procedures and communicating with others. Do not rely on others to secure trailers. Always get off the forklift and check to see if the trailer is properly secured. Make sure your load has proper overhead clearance. Inspect the condition of the vehicle. Is lighting adequate? Are there any obstructions such as loose objects? Make sure the floors are in good condition. Ensure that docks are clear of obstructions, including oil spills and water. Rail cars must also be properly secured and inspected before entering. Make sure wheels are properly chocked. Set handbrakes and derailer. Never attempt to open railroad cars with the forks. Use the proper attachment or get off the forklift and open the door. Never exceed the rated capacity of the dock plate. Check to see that the dock plate is secured before driving over it. Drive slowly when crossing a dock plate. Always know where the forklift wheels are in relationship to the edge of the dock. Do not make unnecessary maneuvers on the dock. Just travel slowly in and out. A forklift is a versatile and productive machine that must be respected. Do not attempt to use it for something that it is not designed to do. If attachments are used for specific situations, follow manufacturer's recommendations. Remember that attachments will affect the load capacity of your vehicle. The forklift should be parked in its designated area. Anytime the forklift will be out of your sight, or will be left unattended at a distance greater than 25 feet, you must lower the forks, place the controls in neutral, turn off the machine, and remove the keys. Never allow an unauthorized person to use the forklift. As a forklift operator, you must always be aware of where co-workers are. 31% of all forklift accidents involve people who work in the area. The cornerstones of safety in the plant are awareness and communication. Maintain complete concentration when operating the forklift. It is your responsibility to let co-workers know of your presence. Sound your horn whenever your visibility is obstructed and when approaching blind spots. Give co-workers the right of way. Most of all, communicate and do not proceed 
until they are aware of your presence and in clear of harm. Never assume that a coworker has heard the horn. Do not proceed until they are clear. They may be preoccupied or not aware of the rules. Forklift statistics show many injuries to people whose job description does not ordinarily take them into the plant. Travel only as fast as conditions allow. Even under ideal conditions, it takes a forklift traveling at 10 miles per hour, 22 feet to come to a complete stop. The most common accident is a forklift running over a foot. Be aware of people moving in the proximity of the forklift. They may not be familiar with how it operates. Never let someone get between the forklift and a hard surface such as a wall, pillar, or materials. Remember, as a forklift operator, you are not only responsible for your safety, but for that of your coworkers in the area you are operating. Additional safe driving rules to remember include never pass a forklift or any other vehicle when traveling in the same direction. Allow at least three vehicle lengths between forklifts. Do not allow anyone to stand or walk under raised forks. Serious accidents occur when forklift drivers take chances with the full knowledge of the possible consequences. Giving a coworker a ride, showing off, or any type of horseplay is unacceptable. If someone needs to be lifted to reach stock or material, an approved safety cage with properly equipped guardrails and tow boards must be used. Never lift someone without the proper device and never raise a person that is standing on the forks. Use common sense and give operating a forklift your full concentration. Recognize and respect the potential hazards. Understand the working conditions that exist in your environment before operating the forklift. Practice safe operating techniques. Be aware of coworkers and communicate with them. Safe operation is essential. As a professional forklift operator, you can take pride for the skillful handling of a complex machine in an environment that presents many challenges. There are no traffic controllers to guide your moves. The responsibility is yours.